Welcome back my peoples! This is your favorite first generation Lord Lucius Apollo Creed. Back with part 3 of the Rockman and Forte playthrough as our favorite blue robot in the Speedos, Rockman. Well, maybe they're Boxer Beast. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Right now, we're dealing with Magic Man Stage, which is, for all intents and purposes, a direct ripoff of Clown Man Stage from Rockman A. Except add better music, and more deviously placed platforming, and conveniently placed enemies. Especially in this section, where you gotta deal with riding on the trains while dealing with said conveniently placed enemies. Over a bombless pit. Yes, you cannot stand on the rails. The rails practically don't exist. Why? Because Capcom are dicks. Anyway, like I said, this place is more or less a reimagining and or rip off a clown man stage. You see that? That robot? Former mid boss. The robot in the upper corner, mostly seen in clown man. The elevator, mostly seen from clown man. The trains, clown man. The toy soldiers that you probably should have seen in the very beginning of the stage. Directly from Clown Man. Clown Man, Clown Man, Clown Man. This place is pretty much Rock Man and Forte's reimagining of Clown Man stage. Is something they want to be complete and total bastards on some of the platforming elements. Well, they were just bastards in the beginning. At this point, it's pretty much all pretty much cool. But that still doesn't change the fact that this is a direct ripoff. At some point, I'm almost gonna think I'm gonna say Clown Man instead of Magic Man, even though they're completely different. Clown Man sucks, Magic Man sucks in his own different way. But that's a whole, but that's something different and for later. Heck, you can argue that technically this stage is as boring because it's a ripoff. The only thing missing is the platforming bell section, which we have right here. Ain't this neat? Instead of just worrying about the X's and O's, us standing in the right place at the wrong time, instead you gotta worry about the rotating spike platforms and not standing on the spikes. Which is fortunately not instant kill and ignore my tactical error right there. I normally would have killed that thing by now. I completely forgot, and therefore, we got our fill for the video that we all know and love. Ah, fun times. Anyway, we're nearing the end of the stage. For Magic Man, might as well get him out of the way right now. His attacks, basically, his magic card. Which is his trademark maneuver, which upon damaging Rock Me will steal his energy and make it his own. He also has another projectile, a flashing ball with him, that moves, in which upon shooting on it will drop toy soldiers. He also has another move where he throws a ball which has Rock Me seeking birds. Weakness weapon, the Kingu Blade, is useful but annoying because of its charge kick like ability, which wasn't seen in the Kingu Blade preview, weapon preview of the last of the last part. I hate contact contact physical weapons in rock band games. It's just it's just me. I know some people can rock with it, like the top spin, but that's not for me. Anyway, now we're dealing with the second reconstituted boss from Rockman 8, Astro Man, who has yet another weird ass environment. Uh huh. 
kind of remind me of the colonies in the Gundam series. I'm not gonna go on how I think that, but I'm just thinking it right now. Anyway, Astro Man has some trippy gimmicks going on here. Like this randomly generated enemy maker where you have no clue what enemy will pop up and where. It's, it's especially these birds annoying because they may come at the wrong time where you can fall in a pitfall. Next up, we got a Simon section. More memorization. And doesn't make good well, it might make a good song start to type thing. Eh, forget it. I don't, I don't know why I'm saying that here. This section on the other hand used to give me a lot of trouble. Especially with the higher elevated rising platforming section. But I got used to it by now, and now I can pretty much do it easily and not worry about the spikes from above. And now, a favorite son of the Rock Band series, the disappearing platforms, which is pretty much hell for Rock Band, not as much for Forte. Mostly because of that particular block right there over the spikes, which Rockman can't ignore, but Forte can. And honestly, that's the first time I actually went through that section cleanly. I usually miss around that time. But other than that, overall, a trippy stage. They have the maze element for Rockman A. And this was a pretty clean run. I think I have my improvements to thank for getting through it much more cleanly than normal. Especially the vanishing block section. Well, that's not a here nor there anymore. Time for Astro Man. Weakness might not actually be a good weakness for him. Even though the magic card does stop Astro Man in his tracks, it deals two units of damage. You'd probably be better off using the bust. And for his attacks, you see him create dimensional portals where pop-up enemies can show. Of course he has dive bombs attack, even one that directly aims for Rockman, and this is the third time he did this. Oh yeah, for the record, he's invincible when he does that. When he does this for the fourth time, if I'm counting straight. What is he gonna do his other attacks? Like his trademark copy vision. Where he pretty much goes back and forth while he shoots, while he shoots and makes holograms that shoot. That gummit! And I'm having a hard time hitting him. This is, and there's another attack which is easy to hit. That was not a good boss fight. I blame the dimension causing pop-up enemy generating thing. As for the copy vision, Rockman's version is pretty much just a single hologram that fires shots. Astro Man's version, which I didn't get a chance to say nor he show, was pretty much Astro Man going back and forth with the holograms also shooting while the actual Astro Man was shooting can be destroyed by the magic cards. Anyway, now dealing with the Dynamo Man stage, which at first I had no clue what a Dynamo was, 
but now I think I know that it's actually an electric generator. I may have to look that up. But regardless of the name, he still looks like a bad science fiction B-movie reject. It looked like he got a it looked like he belongs in a space station or something. Or it needs to be in a UFO or something. Some kind of crap like that. Well, enemy designs aside. He kinda combines grenade man elements with the exploding exploding platforms. He also has an interesting conveyor belt sections. In which if you stand on the conveyor belt too long. The conveyor belt would gradually become faster, which could be harmful, obviously enough. As at a specific point, if you stand too long, you will pretty much be stuck to a stop. And that's not getting into another conveyor belt section, which is going to be later. Now, this mid boss. There are two ways in which you can destroy it. You can destroy the generators that the little little machines come out, or you can destroy the machines itself and just keep destroying them until you're done. You can destroy the actual generators itself. Probably easier with the spread drill. But I'd rather do that as Forte as a good buster shot will take care of the actual machines themselves. Oh, and for those who are not familiar with the stage the stage itself, be careful in the blackout section. Follow the search lights to know where you're going, know where things are, because there are spikes in a couple of those rooms. And here's the other conveyor belt section, where this time we're moving forward, then backwards, which can, which is actually worse, because if you speed up too much, the forward momentum may actually mess up your jumps. Well, the timing of your jumps. Oh, and for CD alert, try to get to that section as fast as you can, otherwise your CD will fall to a pit. And now for our Electro Space Dude. Dynamo Man is probably to me the second most difficult robot master in this game. Weapon. The copy vision only deals two units of damage. Some of his moves are hard to avoid, actually, such as his trademark lightning bolt. Especially without the copy vision, and of course he's also cheap because, well, not cheap, but annoying because he can recharge his health if unchecked. Of course, you can destroy the gener his regeneration device with a well-placed copy vision or whatever weapon you have. Just don't do it too long. Otherwise, he can and will regain full energy. And, like, and before it's over, his trademark lightning bolt, pretty much a full screen attack. Well, all that aside, we're pretty much done here. After this, we're about to begin the final stretch. The final stages shall begin in part 4. Until then, later.